Hey everybody, I am Stephanie Feld and this is 5 Minute EMDR Refreshers. And today I want to talk about the flash technique. So I did the flash training um, with Phil Mansfield. And Manfield. Yes. And um, I thought it was really awesome, super fascinating, and um, I wanted to use it right away. So uh, I created this nifty little script that I'm going to link below because I was really having trouble taking the concept and then like putting it into action. So that's my little gift to you. Um, you can also check out other freebies that I have uh, available on my website, linked below. But so flash, when do I use flash? There's a couple times. One, I would definitely use it with somebody who is having like a very high sud and it's distressing to them to even like speak about the situation. I don't feel like that's a great one to just jump into standard protocol. So I might try to first do flash to like reduce the sud. Like if it's at a 10, it'd be great if it was even at a eight or seven, a six, even better. Another time that I might use flash is if someone is just like really tired and burnt out and does not have a ton of like wherewithal or emotional energy. Like I work with a lot of folks who have chronic illness and medical trauma and it's just a lot gentler and, and less intrusive to use flash. So that's another time that I would use it. And lastly, um, I use flash often with clients who have OCD. And so um, that's kind of like something I've just sort of learned by experience. But I have found that some folks who have OCD actually respond better to flash than the standard protocol. And I mean, I could like come up with theories as to why that is, but I do not know for sure. Just like anecdotally, that's something that I've experienced in my practice. So I always give people the option up front. I'll give a little information about what flash is, how it's different than standard protocol. And essentially I'll say something like, um, instead of us thinking about the worst part and identifying the emotion and the belief and the body sensations, what flash does is that it gives your brain a lot of things to do, whether we're counting, doing BLS or clapping, like whatever version you use. It's giving your brain a lot of things to think about and that's gonna push the negative, um, like the target or the negative painful experience or whatever you're working on below your consciousness. And, but we're still doing the same desensitization that we do with EMDR, but instead of it being at the top of your mind, it's gonna be below your consciousness. And so I give people the option, some are like, no, 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 I don't like that idea. And they'll just go to standard. And other people are like, that sounds great, let's do that. Um, so once you're kind of like using flash more often, that's a really great starting point to give clients like an informed decision of how they wanna approach their um, trauma processing. And it's just really interesting. Some folks, like I've had like many phase four sessions with someone and barely change the set at all. And then we do flash and it goes right down. So I don't really know how to explain that, but some people do really well with it. Vice versa, I've had someone do it and just be like, I didn't feel anything. And then they do standard protocol and get a ton of results that way. So. Um, I just like to have it as another tool in my toolbox to try out. So anyway, I hope that that is helpful. If you have any other questions about Flash, please post them below. I'd be happy to give at least my experience. And um, also I'll say I offer individual consultation and also group consultation. So check out uh, my website and the other links below if that's something that is of interest to you. Uh, anyway, that's all. Take good care.